Medical Monday. A single sunburn can increase your chances of getting melanoma skin cancer, but does sunscreen really block the sun's harmful rays? And have you heard about the sunscreen pill? Joining us with ways to help protect your skin, please welcome back dermatologist Dr. Sherry Ingraham of Advanced Dermatology, along with melanoma survivor Dorothy Mitchell. <laughs> You mentioned earlier that, you know, skin cancer is the most common type of cancer. It's our largest organ of the body. Uh, who is generally at risk? And there's some myths there. You know, it's such a misconception that light skin, blue-eyed people, everyone is at risk. Mm -hmm. I have found skin cancers on people of all skin types, all ethnicities, and really all ages. You know, of course, older individuals are at much, much greater risk because it's cumulative damage through yeah. our lives. But we find them inside the nostrils, between the toes, oh, wow. places where the sun doesn't shine. Yeah, yeah. And I know for me, people think, you know, with darker skin, I was thinking, I'm fine. I was in um, Venezuela, in Caracas, and then we went to the beaches there, and um, I got a sunburn for the first mm -hmm. time in my life. I had never burned before, and my friend Maria Angelica says, I devara, you are in the tropics. You're going to burn <laughs> in the tropics, right? Everyone yeah. burns near the equator. Yeah, right, but yeah. ever since then, I am less tolerant of the sun. Well, and as we age, the melanin in our skin doesn't do as good of kind of that inherent Bouncing job back. it was it yeah. was given to do but also you know ozone isn't what it used to be and then you have to also think about the anti-aging effects right. you know all of that as well okay so Dorothy you were a sun bronze goddess weren't you I love the sun yes. I love tan beds I love just I love to be tan. Yeah, yeah. And so, yes, I spent way too much of my life in the sun and later years tanning bed because you get it quick and and I, I've suffered. You wanted from to be it. like me, didn't you? <laughs> I did. <laughs> I did. You got it. You got it. But uh, you, you found something one day, and, and who found that for you? No, was on your back? I didn't find it. Dr. Ingraham found yeah, it. Yeah. I went in annual, annually. For checkups. Now this is what's important because oh, oftentimes yes. we don't see what's on our right. back. You know, we tell people, you know, you can see yourself, but rarely does someone look between their toes, look at their back. Even yeah. if they have a loved one, you're not often kind of rooting around them like a monkey looking for skin lesions. Yeah. So we <laughs> we advise once a year a full body skin exam with a dermatologist, and really that's what saved your life. That is exactly what saved yeah, my life. Yeah. It had not spread. She found it. We removed it. And let's we take a picture of what the the scar looks like yes. here because again we have a tendency to look at just what the little mark might be, the little might be but there's right. a lot more involved in the tissue underneath that you have to, to deal with right there with melanomas you have to take a certain margin of scar of tissue around the area to ensure that you're getting the lesion and oftentimes it's it's not effective but if caught early melanomas yeah. really really can be caught early and people have a high rate of survival and that's the beauty of skin cancer you know I always say you can't walk up to someone and say you know your liver looks a bit off but with, <laughs> right. with dermatology you can see what you're looking for and so that's why it's such a preventable illness yeah okay well I'll have you here wait wait oh whoops <laughs> okay let's put that right back there all right I'll talk to you in the green room later but okay there are ways to prevent it prevention 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 it's all um about prevention. yeah so okay sunblock sunscreen you have sunscreen that's at like 70 you have some that's right. at 10 or 30 what's really working here so let's go through some of the things that you have on the table sure 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 so let's start with sunscreen you know the the, the conception is you put it on you're good to go well it doesn't block all of the damage that right. sun can cause it doesn't block the every screen, wavelength not right block. you want an SPF 30 or higher okay you want to look for 30 or higher you want to apply about a shot glass which is one ounce to your entire body because if you don't apply enough you're not going to get that 30 you're getting like a 15 or a 10 right you and Dorothy, also were you doing that before I am definitely She's doing now it now. Now you are, but she's, she's doing, doing it before. It oh, no. Yeah, and that could have prevented no, no, no. her it situation. It no, no, no. It was you maybe want oil and iodine. iodine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want Brisco. broad spectrum whenever possible, and you want to reapply. So if you're getting in and out of the water, reapply every two hours. Now, what I have come to love and what I espouse to patients is sun protective clothing. We live in this amazing era mm. where we have all of these wonderful new implements that help protect us from the sun. So Coolabar, one of my favorite brands, makes amazing broad rim hats. They make shirts, and these shirts are convertible. They have some shirts where it's a tank, and then the sleeves peel off. Oh. So you can go from inside to outside. You can add mm. sleeves. I have a lot of my golfers, tennis players. I say, you know what, you can be fashionable, wear your golf shirt, put on the sleeves before you play. Right. The hats have flaps in the back because oftentimes on men, because they have shorter hair, will find skin cancer on the back of the necks. Yeah. And for kids, if you can get your kids to wear a sun shirt, you do not have to worry about reapplying. Right. Reapplying, it makes life so much easier. And now, you know, the big trend is antioxidants. If you can wear your antioxidants and take your antioxidants, mm -hmm. you are doing everything you can to really help yourself. Yeah, all right, tell us about HelioCare. 
and uh, this kind of pill that you take here. Right, so these are gluten-free, vegan, dye-free pills for those who ask, and what they are is they're derived from a Honduran fern leaf extract. Polypodium leucotomos is the active ingredient. And this is why you went to medical school, because I don't know what you just said. <laughs> you gotta say polypodium leucotomos five times. Yeah. You know, when I was in training, this was around, and we were just learning about what it did. For 25 years, they've been researching this ingredient, and they actually found it from some Indians who were indigenous to the area, realized its medicinal benefits, and what it does is it gives your body an extra antioxidant protection through four different mechanisms. It actually helps defend your body from damage to collagen and elastin. So it has an anti-aging benefit. Yeah. And they've actually done studies in Singapore and other Asian areas where it helps prevent brown spots and melasma. Ah. So now what we're doing is we're giving our patients these to take when they come in complaining of darkening on the skin, especially in darker skinned individuals. I put mm -hmm. all of my patients on HelioCare and say, you know, this is the first step for your melasma because it will help block some of that brown you're getting yeah, and all, the hyperpigmentation on exactly. darker skin. Exactly. And then one of the neat, neat things about this product, you know, we often call it a sunscreen pill, but it does so much more than that. It's an anti-aging pill. It's an antioxidant. Yeah, younger looking skin is what I'm seeing right here on the box. Exactly. Bottom. You yes. know, when you're out in the environment and just actually part of the aging process, we're exposed to reactive oxygen species. And these are little ping pong balls that are beating up on our cells. And what this does is it helps to sop up those oxidative damage inducers and help prevent that damage, but it also helps block DNA damage, which is what yeah. happens when we get a sunburn. All right, and that's what produces the aging that we don't like. Exactly. Right. The aging and the skin yeah, cancer. Yeah, and skin it cancer, really yeah. Help. So, you, you say skin cancer, we go, okay, yeah, whatever. Aging what? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> if I don't get you with skin cancer, we're gonna get <laughs> you with aging. For the aging. All right, and Joyce, I wanna wrap up with what you want people to know who keep putting off getting that checkup. You're crazy. You have to go get your annual exam. Yeah. She found my melanoma. She saved my life. I, since then, have had basal cells. It seems like every time I go see her, there's something, you yeah. know. So go today, not tomorrow. Go today. All right. Thank you very much, Dr. Ingraham. Thank you very much. For more information and to book an appointment with Dr. Sherry Ingraham at Advanced Dermatology at the Sugarland location, call 281-980-0166. 281-980-0166 or visit advanceddermatologymd.com and speaking of aging you do take care of like all the wrinkles and all the, the fun stuff too. Yeah, yeah, okay, good. All right, there you go. Looking good, feeling good.